Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a Nino tutorial and I'm going to be talking to you guys today about Wix automations. All right, so let's get started. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit about Wix automations. This is definitely very key if you want to send out response emails or any type of trigger uh, from an action that somebody takes on your website. So this is very important if you guys want to have that interactive uh, with your visitors that you have on your site, whether that is a guest or whether that's a member or whether that is a subscriber or a paid plan person who is on Wix uh, throughout your Wix website, you're gonna need to know about this. And I think this is very much of a game changer than anything else. And I really do like it. So let's get started. How you create your new automation is you click here into your automation tab. Okay, uh, just to go back to automations first, they give you some templates here to uh, help you guys out. And I think these are very helpful, especially if you're doing price quotes or if you're doing anything that deals with invoices or if you have a new site subscriber, you guys want to just go ahead and just click one of these templates and easily set it up. But I'm going to show you guys how to do it from scratch. And this is how you do it from scratch. You click new automation. Okay, once you get into new automation, you want to first title your automation. So I'm going to just say, um, let's see, contact. Okay, this is going to be a contact via contact form, but I don't have to actually adjust it to just being a contact. I can do a whole bunch of things with this. And so Wix forms is just the automated Wix form that they create through a contact or a contact us um, form. Uh, any type of form that you can think of, they have it right here and you can just click Wix forms and that will be actually what I would do for this contact. So if I would hop right on over to my website, okay, I would scroll down here to my website and you see this box right here? This is a Wix form box, okay? So this is my Wix form box, all right? So if you go back to here, I want to set those two up. So I will click Wix forms. Okay. Then I'll scroll down to my second action. Okay. And this will give me different options here. I'll go over the options in a few minutes, but I just want to show you how you can set up a quick contact email uh, that sends out to visitors. So you just click this send to email to visitors. Okay. And if you want, you can go in here to edit the template. They create this nice little template for you. If you don't want to mess around with the template, you can just keep it as is. If you want to preview and test this, you can click here and preview and test it. I highly recommend that you test it to yourself first so that then it will actually, you know, go through. I mean, you don't want it to just mess up and you don't even know about it. So it's good to preview and test it out so that you are assured that you can actually work with this, okay? Now, what you wanna do is you wanna customize your sender details. So you come here, you click edit, you put in your information here, okay? You click uh, save, but right now I'm just gonna cancel. All right, and so then you scroll down a little bit more, okay? After you finish with step number what is this uh step number two okay after you finish that step number two you come down to step number three now if you want this to send immediately like when that person clicks submit they immediately will get an email in their inbox as soon as they click that button and i highly recommend that people actually use immediately because nobody wants to sit here and wait for a certain time to hear back that they have confirmed a contact. Uh, people want to know, and this is in this day and age right now, people want to know that they have got it sent over to you. So you need to send a fast response back saying, hey, we will get back to you. Thanks for contacting us. So that is what I would do here. 
And then once I'm all done, finished up with that, I would just click activate. And then it will create your actual automation and then it'll show it to you live. So you can view your animation, like, auto, excuse me, automation here, and it will set up right here. So right here, I have a page start workflow again, a uh, new, new automation, a workflow in progress trigger and a contact trigger here. Now that is for a future um, tutorial that I'm going to be doing a uh, shout out to uh, one of my subscribers that actually asked about if they could actually automate a uh, price quote uh, and invoice, but uh, I'm gonna have to actually talk with them uh, about it more in depth uh, because uh, trying to figure this thing out for them and yeah, it's gonna come up in a few and a few more videos. All right. So that's how you create a quick and easy contact automation. Now, if you guys want to just know all about what these fields are, I can go right in depth with them. Uh, but if not, thank you guys for watching uh, and I will talk with you guys later. OK, so here we have Wix forms. OK, this is anything uh, that goes with this Wix form. All right. And then we have a price quotes. Now this is definitely important to have. Uh, if you're sending out a price quote to someone and then someone agrees or disagrees or what, uh, what have you, they can get an automated trigger, uh, to send to them or to send to yourself if somebody completes a price quote. So let's look into this a little bit. So we click price quote. We'll select the trigger for this app, which is a price quote expired or is it accepted or it is sent. Okay, so I'm going to say is accepted. So that means when my visitor or customer or client uh, accepts that price quote, they can get one of the following. Okay, they can we can send an email to them confirming that they have uh, accepted the price quote. We can actually get notified by email. We can create a task or we can move this card in a workflow or we can connect it to Zapier. All right, once you make your decision on what you want it to do, then you want to update anything in here that comes below it. Now, for create a task, you will definitely want this to be uh, important. It is definitely important to you if you have a team. Now, if you guys don't have a team and you just need a task for yourself, that's good because then it gives you a to-do list to do. Now, if you are looking at moving this into a workflow, now you have to set up your workflow, which I will talk about in future videos, but you'll have to set up your workflow and then you'll have to select what workflow you want it to go to uh, and then choose the next step for it. OK, now, if you want to just get notified by email, you just send it to your email here. OK, if you want to just send an email to your visitors confirming that they have gotten the price quote, then you go here. OK, so all of these steps right here for this uh, action will be the same for any type of trigger that you uh, choose up here. OK, any automated response. So if we're doing invoice, it'll be similar to the price quote. OK, and then your workflow, it will just be based upon what type of workflow do you want once the card is added or move or or moved in your workflow module? OK, that's just like saying it's like an alert saying, hey, something has moved or something has been added. Now, if you go to your members area, this will be based upon your members, whoever is logged on to your site, uh, whoever signs up to your site or whenever a member is uh, approved, you can definitely send them an automated message. Contact form is the basic contact form. If you use Wix contact forms that I just showed you a minute ago, then you should be fine with choosing this option. For inbox, this will be based upon if someone sends you a message through Wix contact uh, or um, Wix chats. OK, if they send it to you through that. Now, if you like to send emails based upon uh, just using Wix, then this is a key thing to have set up for yourself so that you can be notified. Okay. 
And that is all about it. Uh, when you're choosing the time, you can actually set to a custom time. Now these are uh, the, these are limited to only days and hours, okay? And this is after the trigger, okay? Now, if you want, when there's like an option to send once per contact, that means, you know, hey, if you have some type of special going on and you wanna just send it once to a uh, contact, then this is where you would do it uh, when they sign up for that form or what have you. If not, you can click no and it will keep repeating through, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely give it a shot. If you have any questions, drop it below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.